We're here in southern Idlib on the outskirts of a town called Al Is, uh, in this trench that the opposition forces have been digging. Uh, they've prepared this trench as a defensive position uh, against the regime and its Iranian allied forces, which are just across in a town uh, called Al Hadr. This trench, it took them, they say, about three months uh, to dig. Uh, in some places, it's two meters deep. Uh, the, this terrain uh, in southern Idlib is uh, uh, generally uh, dry and rocky and it's a very difficult terrain. Uh, as you can see, there's uh, lots of rocks and they put up uh, some positions here, uh, some barrels that they filled with sand and dirt and some sandbags to create this defensive position to protect uh, the, this town from regime attacks. The regime has been attacking al uh, since the opposition took full control of it uh, in 2016 uh, with barrel bombs, airstrikes uh, and uh, artillery strikes, even in the most recent in escalation, Al Ais has uh, been targeted. Just this morning, Al Ais was targeted with an airstrike. Uh, and this is uh, the, the main uh, observation uh, point for this particular defensive position. As you can see, the opposition fighters are on the lookout for any activity on the other side uh, of that valley there, uh, which is uh, Al Hadr. They tell us that Iranian militias are manning those positions and giving support to uh, the regime forces in Al-Hadr. Uh, however, uh, they say they're ready uh, for anything that the regime has to bring to the fight. And they've made their own preparations here in southern Idlib to face any kind of attack uh, coming from the other side.